today I'm going to be showing you how to make this skin right here. So, to make this skin, what you're going to need is you're going to need lapis lazuli, blue wool, cyan concrete, blue concrete, light gray wool, gray wool, light gray concrete, cyan terracotta, black wool, and later on you'll need orange wool, yellow wool, white terracotta, terracotta, cyan wool, and white wool. Pause the video, get all these materials, and let's get started. So to start off with, what you want to do is you want to place eight lapis lazuli on the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On top of that row, you want to do one blue wool, two cyan concrete, two blue concrete, two cyan, one blue wool. For the next row, you want to do three blue wool. 2 blue concrete, 3 blue wool. And you want to repeat this for another 2 rows. So 1, 2. Okay. Once you have those 2 rows, what you want to do is 2 cyan, 1 blue wool, 2 blue concrete, 1 blue, 2 cyan. Then you want to do three light gray, two gray wool, three light gray. Do the same thing for the next row, so like that. For the next row, you want to do two cyan, terracotta, or no wait, two light gray concrete, one cyan terracotta, two gray wool, one cyan terracotta, two light gray. For the next row, do one light gray concrete, two light gray wool, two gray wool, two light gray, one gray concrete. For the next row, do three light gray concrete, two gray wool, three concrete. For the next row, do two concrete, one terracotta, two gray, one terracotta, two concrete. For the next row, do two cyan terracotta, four black wool, two cyan terracotta. For the next row, do a solid row of black wool. Okay, let me pull up the next part of the plants here. Okay. <laughs> That's a fun one to see. Darn it. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to grab out your orange wool, get rid of the lapis and blue wool, and you want to do one orange, one black, one yellow, two orange, one yellow, one black, one orange. For the next row, you want to do one yellow, one black, four yellow, one black, one yellow. After that, you want to do one gray, one cyan, four light gray, one terracotta, one gray. For the next row, you want to do two gray, one terracotta, two light gray wool, one cyan terracotta, two gray. For the next row, you want to do one terracotta, six light gray, one terracotta. Yeah, that is right. For the next row, you want to do one terracotta, two light gray, two black, 
two light gray, one terracotta. For the next row, you want to do one light gray, six black, one light gray. For the next row, you want to do two black, one light gray, two black, one light gray, two black. For the next row, you want to do one light gray, and get rid of these two and grab back out the lapis and blue wool. Two blue wool, two concrete, two blue wool, one light gray. For the next row, you want to do, and actually this is the last and final row, you want to do one blue concrete, one lapis, one blue wool, two black wool, one blue wool, one lapis, one blue concrete. Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this. Oh, that's okay, I can work with that. Then what you want to do is you want to come down here to this block right here and you want to place let me go and get a better picture. Okay, so now we can continue. So what you want to do is you want to come to either side because both sides are exactly the same. And what you want to do is you want to place one blue concrete and three cyan. Go over to the other side and do the same thing. So one blue concrete, three cyan. I am going to start on the left and move right. So for the next row, what you want to do is you want to do one cyan, three blue concrete. Then you want to do three blue wool, one blue concrete. Then do a solid row of lapis. For the next row, you want to do three cyan and one blue concrete. For the next row, do a solid row of light gray wool. For the next row, do two light gray. Actually, this wants to be broken, and this wants to be a gray, and this wants to be a gray, and this wants to be a concrete. Leaving you with something that looks like that. Once you fix that little mistake, come back up to the top, and you want to do one blue concrete, one lapis, one light gray concrete, one gray wool. For the next row, you want to do one cyan. Um, one blue wool, one lapis, one gray wool. For the next row, you want to do one cyan, two blue wool, one lapis. And do the same thing for the next row, so just copy what you have. For the next row and last row, you want to do two cyan, two lapis. Actually make that blue concrete. Leaving you with something that looks exactly like this. Then what you want to do is you want to come over to the other side and do the same exact thing. So I'm going to be going left to right again. And on that little note, let's continue. What you want to do is you want to do three blue concrete and one cyan. Then one blue concrete, three blue wool. Then, solid row of lapis, one gray wool, three light gray, 
then one gray wool, one light gray, two gray wool. For the next row, do one gray wool, one light gray, one light gray wool. Actually, no, this wants to be a lapis and a concrete. For the next row, do one gray wool, one lapis, one blue wool, one cyan. Then do one lapis, two blue wool, one cyan, and repeat that for another row. Then you want to do a moffa row. Okay, little note here. For you guys that was following the other side, you knew exactly what you were doing. You were following me, break all those previous rows. What you want to do, once you've broken all those rows, leaving you with something that looks like this, you want to do a solid row, well, three light gray and one gray wool. Then one gray wool, one light gray, two gray wool. Then do one gray wool, one light gray, one lapis, one concrete. Then do one gray, one lapis, one blue wool, one cyan. Then do one lapis, two blue, one cyan. Repeat that for the next row. Then do two blue concrete and two cyan. Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this. Let me pull up the back here. Okay. Oops. No, no, the back. There we go. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to come to the back of your statue. And you want to count back by three with your lapis. So one, two, three on both sides. So one, two, three. And fill that in with lapis. Then what you want to do is you want to do two solid rows of blue concrete. So one, two. Then you want to do one blue concrete. And grab out your cyan wool. Replace that with any block. Two cyan concrete, two wool, two cyan, one concrete. For the next stroke, do one cyan, one lapis, one blue, two wool, one lapis, oh, okay, one concrete, one lapis one cyan for the next row do one cyan one lapis four cyan wool one lapis one cyan for the next two rows do one cyan one lapis one cyan Two concrete, one cyan, one lapis, one concrete. And like I said, that is for the next two. So, repeat what you have. And for the next about... Okay, I'm going to have to do some map here. So... One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wait, this actually makes it a whole lot simpler. Never mind. What you then want to do is you want to do one cyan, one blue concrete, or no wait, one lapis, four concrete, one lapis, one wool. That wants to be a concrete then. For the next stroke, do the same exact thing as the next, as the last row, so, yeah, I can get the blocks, and for the next about, how many is four from the top, okay, here's a simple way to do it, um, come to the top of your statue, and count down by one, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, start on the sixth one, and do, we'll come out by three, and do four cyan going this way, wait, where did that start, oh, what you want to do is you want to do one concrete, no wait, stand corrected, one cyan, one blue concrete, four cyan concrete, one blue concrete, and one cyan. And just bring this all the way down till you reach there. And fill it in with the rows that are above. That's a simple way to describe it than me trying to figure out a long way to do it. So, saved you guys some pain of waiting. Okay. I'm going to break that. Then for the next row, what you want to do is you want to do one cyan wool, one blue concrete, four cyan concrete, one blue concrete, and one cyan wool. For the next row, do one cyan, one blue, one cyan, two concrete, one cyan, one blue, one cyan. And for the final, for the next two rows, you have to do one cyan, one blue, four cyan, one blue, one cyan. Like I said, that is for the next two. And for the last and final row, you want to just do a solid row of blue concrete leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this and what you then want to do is you want to come to the front and line it up with the front of your statue and you want to do two cyan one lapis, and that's it. And then just come over to the other side and do the same exact thing. So, two cyan, one lapis. Then you want to do um, okay, so I'm going to tell you this. This is a cape. So, basically, there's not a lot of detail. Because it's all going to be turned 3D in the end, making it look really, really cool. 
So then what you want to do is add a blue concrete on both sides. And then what you want to do is I'm going to make this simpler. Stack in a row like this on top of this blue concrete. Two blue wool. One lapis. One cyan concrete. One, one light gray concrete. Oh wait. That wants to be a cyan concrete. Not cyan concrete, cyan terracotta. One light gray. One blue concrete. Four cyan concrete. Like that. Then, what you want to do is you want to go up by three with your blue concrete. Bringing it all the way up to here, like that. Then, you want to do four lapis. Leaving something that looks like that. Then, what you want to do is you want to do six rows of cyan concrete, so one, two, three, four, five. Only five, actually. And bring that all the way up. Then finish the rest of it off by five rows with your cyan. Then do one blue concrete and one cyan wool. Leaving something that looks like that. Okay, then come over to the other side and do the same exact thing. So, come over to the blue concrete here, do two blue wool, one lapis, one cyan concrete, one terracotta, one light gray, one blue concrete, and four cyan. Like that. Then come over to the next row and do six. Actually, um, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven, actually. And then finish it off with your lapis. Then come over on this side. Go up by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And go up by five with your cyan. So one, two, three, four, five. Then do one blue concrete and one cyan. Leaving you with something that looks a little bit like this. And that is the back. So, yeah. That little note, let's move over to the sides. And... Both sides are exactly identical, so makes it pretty easy to do it here. Okay. I can find it. Do I seriously not have a good picture of these lakes? Okay. Let me go and take a, another better photo. Okay, let's get started yet again. Then what you want to do on the sides is you want to do two blue concrete. Then do three solid rows of blue wool. So one, two, three. Two cyan. Then do one cyan terracotta, one light gray concrete. And here's a little thing I added in with the fact that these are actually going to be hidden by the statue. What I did was I broke all these up going up to the arm, and I did one cyan terracotta here, one light gray, then another light gray on top, then finished it off with cyan terracotta, leaving something that looks like that. That way it actually looks like the physical statue. 
So then what you want to do is you want to do um, one light gray concrete and let's grab back out the wool so light gray wool then grab then one light gray wool then do a solid row of light gray concrete solid row of cyan terracotta another solid row of light gray concrete then another solid row of light gray of cyan terracotta leaving you with something that looks a little bit like this then what you want to do is you want to come up to the top of your arms and just fill it in with 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 whatever color till you reach right here and you want to do one cyan one blue concrete for the next row do one cyan one blue wool for the next row do a solid row of blue wool solid row of lapis solid row of cyan concrete solid row of light gray wool then one light gray concrete one light gray wool then do solid row of blue then three solid rows of blue wool so one two three then finish it off with blue concrete and come in by three at the top of the statue leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this then what you want to do is come over to the other side and do the same exact thing so skip these three blocks right here and break this one here leave that one and then break the rest of these up to the top of the arm and in this block right here you want to put a lapis let's actually go and do that on this side lapis right there then do on top of this do um one cyan terracotta two light gray concrete one cyan terracotta actually bring that all the way up to the top leaving you with something that looks like that and this block right here can be broken on both sides and replaced with a concrete then from there all you want to do is just copy what you have on the other side so let's do that oh and also i did make a joker sketch that a joker statue and if you guys want me to make that then really just comment down below because it's a, it's a pretty cool statue it's a just uh a little grin he has on it doesn't doesn't really do it for me it it seriously looks a little creepy so yeah okay once you have finished both sides what you then want to do is lost my plans again you want to Come up to the top of the statue. Let me pull out my plants here. Come on. You can load. Please. Thank you. Okay. So, what you want to do is you want to come up to the top of the statue here and keep everything until blue concrete and after blue concrete just get rid of everything 
And then you want to grab back out your black wool, white wool, white terracotta, and terracotta. And that's it. So basically what you want to do is you want to do, we'll just say two lapis, like this. And then blue concrete and bring out this lapis by just bring these out by one row so like that then what you want to do is you want to do one blue wool one concrete four white terracotta one blue concrete one blue wool for the next row, do one lapis, two white terracotta, two terracotta, two white terracotta, one lapis. For the next row, do one lapis, six black wool, one lapis. For the next row, do one lapis, two white wool, two black wool, two white wool, one lapis. For the next row, do one lapis, two black wool. Oh, wait. Right in between the eyes here wants to be two blue concrete. Like that. Then, two blue wool, two black wool, one lapis. For the next row, you want to do one lapis, one concrete, four wool, one concrete, one lapis. For the next row, you want to do one lapis, one concrete, four cyan, one concrete, one lapis. And once you have that, that is the face fully complete. Okay, so, so here's one thing about this statue. What you then want to do is um wait. How did it oh Oh wait, that is the wrong perspective. I actually did do that right. But that wants to be a lapis. So you'll you'll see what it does later on. But then what you want to do is you want to move back by three, so one, two, three with your lapis. Then go back by two with your blue concrete. Like that. Then do the same thing over here. So, three with the lapis, two with the concrete. Then let's move on to the back side here. There it is. And what you want to do is fill the bottom in with the blue concrete. This right here can be filled in with anything you want. I'm gonna do blue concrete. Then what you want to do is you want to do um, solid row of blue concrete like that then do two blue wool four concrete two blue wool for the next three rows just do three solid rows of blue wool so one two three Wait, did I do the head the wrong proportions? Wait. That doesn't add up.
That's the right size. Oh no, wait. Uh, sorry here. Move this up by one row. Like that. And then this here wants to be the lapis. And this wants to be the four blue wool. Leaving something that looks like that. Okay, now let's actually see if the back of the head lines up. Hopefully it will. And... It honestly looks like it might, it might not. I swear I'm missing something. What would I be missing, though? Oh, I know what. This wants to be moved down a row. Like that. And then this wants to be deleted. And then that wants to be turned into blue wool. Leaving you with something that looks like that. Sorry about that. Then once you fix those little mistakes, what you then want to do is come back up to the top. And you want to do one lapis, six blue concrete, one lapis. Then do one blue concrete, six blue wool, one blue concrete. Then do two blue wool, four blue concrete, two blue wool. Leaving you with something that looks a little bit like this. What threw me off was I thought it was an actual part of the statue. This right here goes directly under the bottom of the statue. So if you guys wanted to, you could expand it out already by two. And you can see why that threw me off. So, yeah, sorry about that. But on that little note, let's move over to the sides. And both sides are exactly identical, just to let you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move left to right. Or no, wait. Yeah, left to right. You want to do two lapis, one blue concrete, then finish it off with your blue wool. Am I seriously looking at the wrong side again? I'm looking at the wrong side. Um. Okay. On that little note, literally just completely reverse. So. Sorry. This wants to be. Three. Blue wool. One concrete and two lapis. Like that. I had the wrong side of the statue. Then what you want to do is you want to do three blue wool, two concrete, one lapis. Actually, no, this wants to be a blue wool. For the next row, do the same exact thing. So, just copy that. For the next row, do a solid row of blue wool. Then do one lapis, three concrete, two lapis. For the next row, you want to do one blue concrete, 
and then just finish the rest off with blue wool. For the final row, you want to do three blue wool and three concrete. Then come over to the other side and do the same exact thing. So, all you need to do is just copy that. Excuse me. Huh. There we go. Um. Oh yeah, and seriously, I do need an opinion on that video thing because I do have quite a few videos that I can upload. Other than Minecraft. So once you're done, this is what the side should look like. That still throws me off. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to come up to the top of your head. And just fill it in with blue wool. So. Do that. And then, what you're going to want to do is, let me find the picture here, is come up to the top of your statue and come to the front here. And you want to count back by one, two, three and then place a blue wool here then what you want to do is you want to go back by two with your blue wool then go on top of it by one place the cyan then go up by one here and then do another cyan leaving you with something that should look like this then what you want to do is go over to the other side and copy that onto that side. So, leaving you with something that should look like this. And now, for the main final element of this thing, is going to be the cape. Okay. So, what you want to do is you want to come over to the back side here. And all of these blocks from this cyan wool right here, like that, wants to be expanded out going up. So, if you remember, all you want to do is just match what you have going on the sides. If I'm not mistaken, this should be a cyan wool, and that should be a cyan wool, and that should be a cyan wool. Okay. Then bring this up until the cyan stops, and this wants to be concrete, going up until the top, so... Finish that off with concrete. And then do this as lapis. And basically that's all you really have that is not actual part. So here, it's literally just matching what you have. Except for ending here and here on those sides. What you want to do is you want to make this fully 3D. So, um, on that little note, I will be back after I have finished this and I'll show you what I mean. So, 
I will see you guys once that is done. So once you have the thing all fully folded in and it looks like this, what you want to do is you want to come down to your lapis right here and place a block in front of this. Place a blue concrete in front of those two blue concretes right there. Then what you want to do is you want to do a bottom right diagonal and a bottom left diagonal on both sides like that. Then do another bottom left and bottom right with your lapis, leaving you with something that looks like that. Then what you want to do is you want to do one lapis, okay? Then, this one's seriously going to be fun. What you want to do is you're going to want to bring your lapis until it is three blocks above this right here. So basically it lines up perfectly until that block right there. And that's the only added detail. Then you want to come over here and do the same thing. So place a block of lapis, go into the right, and then just bring that up to the top. For the little details here, what you want to do is place cyan in these spots. Like that. Then go up by two, like that. And then just fill it in with cyan concrete. So, two here, then the rest cyan concrete. And once you're done with the cape and it looks a little bit like this, you are actually done with your statue. If you want to, there are a few added 3D elements that I did do. So, pause the video here. Finish the cape if you haven't. If you want to add any more cool 3D elements, grab out the yellow wool and orange and expand the belt out here. Oh, wait. like this and then this right here like that and then if you wanted to the shoulder pads bring them out this little thing right here okay these things are all necessary things if you want to add them they aren't actually required and then this thing right here you can bring out by one so leaving something like that and this is actually expanded out on the actual statue where it goes one lapis and one concrete like that And on this side, if you wanted to, you could break that out and replace it as a blue wool. Leaving something that looks like this, but yeah. 
And if you chose to stick around and do those 3D elements, this is what your statue should look like 100% fully complete. And on that little note, I hope to see you guys next time and in the next video. And I will see you later. Uh, bye.